Welcome to Ikenik. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, troubleshoot a Kia that will not start a Kia EV electric vehicle. So, here we have a 2023 Kia EV6, and we're going to take a look. Now, this particular car does have a number of warning lights, but in fact, it does uh, drive, start and drive. So, the values there you're going to see here can be your reference point to make sure, compare it with this if you have another Kia that does not start. So I'll show you what to do and how to diagnose it. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Ucanic scanner. What you want to do is you want to run what's called a quick scan. It'll go through all the control modules on the car and you can see the codes that are present. So we can see we have a few that have full codes. You can click on this drop down, you can click on the name to enter the control unit, do more, look at more live data and um, do a test, which we're going to do in a couple. But uh, what I like to do here, you can save the report, you can hit report at the bottom, and then you look at all these codes right here and see if you can uh, figure out if there's any particular fault codes that are preventing the car from starting. In this case, these codes that we have here, they are not preventing the car from starting or driving, but there are still a couple of issues with this car. But let's uh, go back in here. Let's go back and we see this menu. So what do you wanna? Uh, check the there's a couple of control units. You do want to check the integrated by the control unit And go to live data and then select oh now a lot of these have to do with the headlight and locks so it you know I'm, it's just you know, Those are not gonna uh, Block the car from starting but what is important here is the ignition voltage so You got to have some voltage there if you don't have that and the ignition on you know you can see that and those should be on uh, those are a couple of things that you can check under this control module let's go back you want to check the smart key unit and go to live data and then select all press ok ignition on so here you will see any issues if the car is not detecting the key if the car is not Detecting the correct gear, for example, you know, uh, right now, gear signal at P says not P because I just moved it to drive. Okay, but you can see all these values in here, so that can be a good reference point and things to check. Again, in this car can run and drive. So you can compare it with whatever values you are seeing with these values here. What else do you want to check? Um, now, while it could be a number of reasons why your Kia will not start, uh, I, I would recommend checking the integrated body control, the smart key module, and the um, vehicle charging management system. You want to check that as well. You can go to live data in here, especially if you have issues with these values. This still needs to be updated here. All right, let's go back. From radar, that's not going to prevent the car from starting. Generally speaking, now it it could be that you could have one of these modules there. It's not communicating, and it's uh, creating an issue on your CAN network, and I'm bringing down a, a lot of communication. Um, but you know, it's so if you have a control module that you know the car has, but here you get no communication with it that's something to dive deeper into but bms this is very important this is the ev battery could be one of the main reasons why your kia ev is not running and driving so what you'll do here is you select the all go live data and we can check a number of things state of charge uh, that's the main one uh, it shows on the cluster as well you can see dc current how much we're cooling and the voltage temperature of the modules the different um, battery packs we can see the voltages of the all the cells and right down here if I keep going you can see all the voltage each cell cell one voltage if you have a, a cell with very significantly lower reading than the rest of them so right now we're at 3.7 3.8 you have one at like 3.6 or 3.5 4 that's going to be a problem that means you have a bad cell and the car the EV battery can shut down because that can be a concern. If you have a, a cell that's not charging the same rate or is charging too much compared to the rest of them, 
what could cause is that could overheat and it can catch fire or you know it can be a problem so with the the car is programmed to shut down the whole EV battery pack at least uh, depending how it's uh, there are um, split how many modules could be so uh, that that car is not going to drive if you you know have an issue with the battery pack so you can see here we have over 90 cells I believe 96 cells and you can see maximum internal resistance that's important too there's no isolation between the battery the high voltage battery and the, the chassis of the car you the battery pack could shut down as well because that could be a concern you don't want to be electrocuted so that's a healthy um, resistance right there and more temperature for the module so, so you see a lot of values here on this um, battery pack and the live data that you can see the count relay count right there and so on so those would be some of the main things that I would check now you could enter any of the other control modules especially if you have full codes in them but those would be the, some of the main ones that I would check if you have a Kia or even a Hyundai EV that's not starting. Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.